Good morning, everyone. Welcome to today's workshop on understanding the foundational concepts of behavior analysis. Today we're diving deep into two pivotal theories that have shaped our field. Radical behaviorism and methodological behaviorism. We'll explore what distinguishes these approaches. See them in action through examples and even test our newfound knowledge with some mock exams. Let's embark on this journey to better grasp these theories and their implications for behavior analysis. Methodological behaviorism focuses on observable behavior and avoids any inference about internal mental states or processes. It posits that psychology should concern itself only with behaviors that can be directly observed and measured, excluding thoughts, emotions, and other unobservable mental phenomena from its analysis. Key characteristics. Empirical focus. Emphasizes the study of behavior that can be directly observed and measured. Exclusion of internal states. Rejects or ignores the significance of internal mental states in the explanation of behavior. Considering them outside the realm of scientific inquiry. Stimulus response sir relationships often focuses on the relationships between environmental stimuli and the responses they elicit without speculating about internal processes that might mediate these responses. Examples for methodological behaviorism In a methodological behavior study, a researcher might examine how the presence of specific stimuli example food affects the probability of a response, example, pressing a lever in rats, without making any reference to the rat's internal states such as hunger or motivation. In contrast, radical behaviorism, developed by B. of Skinner, expands upon the principles of methodological behaviorism by incorporating internal events, thoughts, feelings into the analysis of behavior but always with a focus on observable action. It maintains that these internal events are also behaviors subject to the same rules and principles as overt behavior, but emphasizes that they should be studied based on their observable effects and relations with the environment. Key Characteristics Inclusion of Internal Events Recognizes thoughts and emotions as behaviors that can and should be studied albeit indirectly, through their observable effects. Environment behavior relationships focuses on the interaction between organisms and their environments, including both external and internal environments, to explain behavior. Operant conditioning emphasizes the role of consequences in shaping behavior, with a focus on reinforcement and punishment as key mechanisms. Examples for Radical Behaviorism A radical behaviorist approach to understanding procrastination might consider both the observable behavior, example, delaying tasks and the individual's self-reported feelings of anxiety or thoughts about the task. However, it would analyze these internal events in terms of their relationship with environmental factors such as past experiences of failure or the contingencies of reinforcement and punishment. Comparison While both approaches are grounded in behaviorism, the key difference lies in their treatment of internal mental states. Methodological behaviorism strictly limits its scope to observable behaviors, effectively treating the mind as a black box that's irrelevant to the study of behavior. Radical behaviorism, on the other hand, acknowledges the existence and importance of internal states, but insists they be studied in observable and objective terms, as part of the organism's interaction with its environment. Radical behaviorism's broader approach allows for a more comprehensive analysis of behavior, considering both external actions and internal events within a behavioral framework. It seeks to understand not just the relationship between stimuli and responses, but also how behavior is influenced by its consequences, 
and how internal events participate in the behavioral process. This makes radical behaviorism more inclusive and potentially more applicable to complex human behaviors, including thoughts and feelings, within a scientific analysis. Let's practice with some mock exams. Mock exam 1. Which of the following does not accurately describe a principle of radical behaviorism? 1. Emphasizes the importance of environmental factors in shaping behavior. 2. Considers internal thoughts and feelings as behaviors that can be scientifically analyzed. 3. Ignores internal mental states because they cannot be directly observed. 4. Focuses on both overt behavior and private events within a behavioral framework. Correct answer is 3. Ignores internal mental states because they cannot be directly observed. Radical behaviorism does not ignore internal mental states instead. It considers thoughts and feelings as behaviors subject to the same principles as observable behaviors, albeit study indirectly through their environmental interactions. This choice reflects a misunderstanding of radical behaviorism, making it the correct answer. The other options accurately describe principles of radical behaviorism. Mock Exam 2 Which of the following research approaches is not aligned with the principles of methodological behaviorism? 1. Studying the rate of lever pressing by rats in response to food rewards. 2. Observing changes in social behavior among children following the implementation of a token economy. 3. Conducting interviews to understand the subjective experience of anxiety in social situations. 4. Measuring the increase in heart rate as a response to a loud noise. Correct answer is 3. Conducting interviews to understand the subjective experience of anxiety in social situations. Methodological behaviorism focuses strictly on observable behaviors and avoids delving into unobservable mental states. Conducting interviews to explore subjective experiences involves making inferences about internal mental states, which methodological behaviorism avoids. The other options involve observable behaviors or physiological responses, aligning with methodological behaviorism's emphasis on direct observation. Mock Exam 3 which statement does not accurately reflect the viewpoint of radical behaviorism? 1. Behavior should be analyzed within the context of its consequences. 2. Private events, such as thinking and feeling, have no place in the analysis of behavior. 3. The environment plays a crucial role in the development and modification of behavior. 4. Behavior analysis should include both publicly observable behavior and private events. Correct answer is 2. Private events, such as thinking and feeling, have no place in the analysis of behavior. This statement is incorrect in the context of radical behaviorism which explicitly includes private events, thinking and feeling in its analysis of behavior. Radical behaviorism asserts that these private events are behaviors in their own right, influenced by and influencing interactions with the environment. The other statements correctly reflect radical behaviorism's approach to behavior analysis. Mock Exam 4 which scenario does not exemplify the approach of methodological behaviorism? 1. A study measures the impact of different lighting levels on employee productivity by counting errors in completed tasks. 2. An experiment investigates the effect of praise versus reprimand on student participation by recording the frequency of hand raises. 3. 
A therapist uses a questionnaire to assess clients' thought patterns and emotional responses to identify triggers of depressive episodes. 4. A behavior analyst records the duration of play behavior in children before and after introducing a new playground equipment. Correct answer is 3. A therapist uses a questionnaire to assess clients' thought patterns and emotional responses to identify triggers of depressive episodes. This scenario involves exploring internal mental states, thought patterns and emotional responses through a questionnaire, an approach that methodological behaviorism avoids due to its focus on directly observable behaviors. Methodological behaviorism would not typically engage in assessing unobservable mental states to explain behavior. The other scenarios focus on observable behaviors and their environmental determinants, aligning with methodological behaviorism's principles. I hope this session has provided you with a clearer understanding of radical and methodological behaviorism and how they apply to behavior analysis. Remember, each approach offers valuable insights and tools for our work. Depending on our objectives and the specifics of the behavior we're examining, thank you for participating and keep exploring these fascinating concepts in behavior analysis. If you like this video, please press like button and subscribe channel. Have a good day.